and welcome back to my bathroom. Today is going to be all about Guerlain. I, as you saw in one of my previous videos, I stopped at a Guerlain counter. I didn't think that I had anything Guerlain, but I did. I have uh, some perfume from Guerlain and I really like it. It's, in, it's at my house in Florida, so I can't use it. But um, when I stopped at that Guerlain counter, the sales girl was really, really good, but I could see that and I've seen a lot of uh, other subscribers talk about Guerlain, just never had tried it. So, hmm, I went a little crazy. Well, I didn't, I didn't do too bad. But I wanted to talk about some of the things that I did get. And uh, Guerlain is, I think they're just all about gold. They're like the gold standard. And I was really, really impressed by their uh, products. The first thing the sales girl talked about was the Guerlain in the lore. L or and it's got it's got the gold the 24 karat gold suspended in it and I really really do like this primer I I don't know if you can tell by my face at all but it it does it lights your face up from the inside out and who I'm 55 years old soon to be 56 years old who doesn't want that I mean if you can have a glowy um, not I'm not talking shiny but something that makes you glow and gives you that inner light hey that's got to help right so it's in a pump and it's in a gel, and I'll tell you one thing, I've used this like five, six days now, and I really, really like it. I just pump it out, oh, I hate to waste it, I'm not going to waste it, because it's, it was $71 for, um, I'm not sure how many ounces this, this is, but $71, um, you just pump out, I pump out two pretty good pumps, I've got a big round face. <laughs> so I pump it out, rub it all, I mean, I put it on my eyes, I put it everywhere on my face, and I'll tell you what, it. I love it for the primer aspect. It really does help my makeup to go on and stay on and look fresh and glowy and wonderful. But when I put that on my face, my face feels like a million bucks. It really does. It just it just gives you that wonderful feeling. And hey, it only lasts, it's like a man. It doesn't last long, but it's there, okay? I did not say that. I did not say that, okay? I didn't say it, but I meant it. But the, the fee, it just gives you a really wonderful, cooling, fresh feeling, and I really like that. So then I just put on my, uh, I've been using the Chanel Aqua, uh, Vita Lumiere Aqua, and I, I was going to use their foundation, but I've got so many foundations here that I want to use up. So I just use, I, I, I believe in mixing, mixing products. I don't think you have to go all Chanel or all Guerlain or all uh, MAC or whatever. I just really like the the feel and the look of the primer, the Laura primer. I did get a message from Mrs. The Doll that had said to try the meteorites in the, um, I forget what the name of it, but with the pearls instead of the gold. I thought, let's go for the gold first. We'll try the pearls later. But I just wanted to try it. I really like it. I like to switch up my foundation or my primers. The next thing I got was, oh my gosh, she had talked about these little tiny little um, meteorite pearls and the smell, number one, is like, I don't know, I never had a grandma, but it smells like what I think a really fabulous grandma would smell like. I want my grandkids to think that I smell fabulous. And these, the smell is, is heavenly. My favorite are the little purple ones. I don't know if you can see them. I think that the purple are like uh, correctors. But I, I, got, I got it in the number two, and she told me that I would be more suited for a number one, but I went with the number two, and I'm glad that I did, because it doesn't really... The one thing I noticed about Guerlain is that it's nothing real in your face. It's very, everything is very sheer, very subtle. So someone like me that has a very heavy hand, and I mean, I can go overdo the makeup, like major, the Guerlain is really good because you can still apply, you know, I just apply like I always do, but it's very sheer and it's very, um, it's like the less is more thing. I can put on more, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like less. But I really like the meteorites. I, when this runs out, it's very, very sheer, but when this runs out, I'm not sure if I will go and do it again, but most likely. I love the smell. I like the way it, it uh, it's like a finishing powder. I still use and wear my um, MAC Prep and Prime uh, transparent finishing powder. I, I, I like to switch things. I like to switch up things on makeup. The next thing that I got, oh, I should have probably started with this one before that. I got the uh, Guerlain Precious Light. She had talked me into this, and it's so much like the, the By Terry one that I already have, which I I know I'm not supposed to do this, but I kind of saved my my, my my By Terry for special occasions. This one's quite a bit bigger. Um, it was about the same price though, but this one has a pump at the bottom. So I, and I like the bigger brush on this one pretty well. 
I just usually put this on my face and spread it all around. Like plowing a field. But this one, it, I keep wanting to press the bottom like that one, but this one is a twist. And it's got a very small brush, but I'll tell you what, it, it really does work. I'll show you here. See, I was pushing the bottom. You just twist, and it puts out just the tiniest bit of product. I like to use it under eye because... Like I said, I'm 55 years old and things go a little dark. And I'm not talking about not paying the light bill. But it's really good. I really like that. It, it, I put it, I don't use a concealer. What I do is put my primer on, then I use my concealer. What I do is twist this out, just enough product, uh, like three good twists. I put it everywhere. I put it all over my entire face and then just rub it in. It's I almost use it as a makeup base. Don't ask me why I do the things I do. I just do them. So I put the, the concealer, I put the primer on, the concealer on, uh, my foundation on. Then I use the Meteorite Pearls, which I, can, I sometimes just put these on uh, because I just love the smell. And it really does. It gives you a bright, happy feeling. And I, di I did buy the special brush that goes with it, and I, I really like this little brush. It's not... So I had read the reviews after I bought it, and it, some people said that it was really kind of on sensitive skin. It was because it's pretty, it's pretty a substantial bristle brush. It just to to um, I don't want to say grind. I want to say swirl that into your skin. But I really, really like this brush, and it goes with this. And I do believe that that brush, if you're going to buy the Meteorite Pearls, I really believe you should buy this specific brush to go with it. And I I do like that brush. Then I put put the meteorite pearls on then I usually put my blush on and I got this one I am not even going to attempt to butcher this uh, French name because I I have no French knowledge whatsoever I do know in the French restaurant bonsoir and things like that but that's about it I do have a little friend that's a French uh, waiter and he is fabulous and he always makes me feel like a million bucks but anyway, I got this it, this blush in, um, it's the blush, never mind, the number is 07, and I got this one, it's, I don't know if you can see it very well, it's kind of got um, a peach here, a light pink, and a, like the bronzer colors, and I really like it. So I, what I do is put all my, my goodies on there, take my little brush, blush brush, swirl it in, and it just gives a nice, pretty color without being too in your face. Another thing, like I'm saying, uh, Guerlain is all about sheer. I go overboard on blush. I'll admit it. I'm, I will admit it. I am a blushaholic. But I really do like the colors in this. I think that they are just fantastic. And they're very sh buildable, they're very sheer. And except for the massive fingerprints, I love the packaging on this. Guerlain packaging is absolutely extraordinary, I think. I love this sitting here on my vanity uh, table. I think it's just very pretty. And this, I mean, who wouldn't want to see that 24 karat gold sitting on your vanity table? And I love the way that the gold is just suspended in there. The, ne the next thing I got, the last thing I got was, um, and she had told me that pinks were my color. And I am, I'm drawn immediately like a magnet. I'm drawn to pinks. But sometimes I like to, to go with a little bit deeper color, so I'm going to go back and get a deeper color. But this color, I really liked it. Um, it's called Baby Shine. It's um, a pink, because I love pink. And, but it, inside the pink, is, it's got like a duochrome, little tiny shimmers in it, which I think are just absolutely beautiful. So what I do is I line my lip with my Cafe Rose pencil, and then I fill everything in. I fill it all in and... So it's not too dark, it's just not too in your face, but that looks, that right there is not going anywhere. I can eat, kiss, smooch on people, kiss on my grandkids, whatever, and nothing that does not come off. But then I like to add this over the top, which I have not yet. I just have on straight. Um, this is called lip liner, straight up. That's it. But I'm going to add this. It's called Baby Shine in the number 671. Again, very sheer, but it's got a gloss in it. And I really like that. And the smell, again, is heavenly. I love the packaging. Um, I am going to get one of those. I'm going to go back and get a couple of the deeper colors. I like those ones that are like a little cigarette lighter where you flip it up and that lipstick comes out. I, I am a packaging freak. If the packaging is pretty, if the packaging is uh, um, 
unusual, I'm all over it, like it's my job. That's what I, I love packaging. I, don't ask me why, I just really like things that are packaging. I got a little, um, so that was my Guerlain haul, haul, and I'm going to go back and get more Guerlain. I think Guerlain is um, probably geared more to, toward the mature skin, mature lady. I'm, that's where I'm at, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. So um, I love MAC, and I did get a few things at MAC, and I'm going to do the rest of that haul, that, that little glittery dress, uh, the sequin dress. I want to show you that. Um, I just thought I'd do it in two parts because I hate long videos. My last three or four videos have been like, they've been like sagas. And I, I thought I'd stick away, stay away from that. But I have a feeling this one's going to be long too because that's what I do. That's how I roll. So um, I got a really amazing package from my friend Susie. Uh, she sent me, oh, D Dior Pat. I got a nosy itch. Um, somebody out there is talking about me. Is it you? I hope it was good, and if not, I hope it was really bad. <laughs> but she sent me uh, the most amazing package, and um, today, I, I want to show that. I'll probably show that in my next haul video, but today, and what I have on today is this. I had never heard of this. She told me that she got it at Sephora. My nose is really itching. I do not have boogers. It's just an itchy nose. Doesn't that mean that somebody's talking about you, or there's some superstition about having an itchy nose? Maybe it is a booger. I don't know. But this, she got me this Becca palette, and I had never heard of Becca. She told me that she got it at Sephora. I, I walk, I told Susie, uh, I walk into Sephora or MAC or any of these makeup counters, and it just all comes at me, and I'm like overwhelmed. And I end up just going, I'm like a kid in a candy store, but I can't decide. So I just end up usually walking out. I can't pick out anything. I, I'm really anal that way. I, I see so many things, and I just bypass them because I don't know what to buy. So I liked it that she sent me this, and how sweet was that? But it's the Becca palette, and I love the colors. I have them all on today. I have the darkest one on my, or the light, this taupe color here on my crease, this above the crease, and this um, glitter one, which, whoa, that's a blind jet. This glittery one, which I think is just absolutely beautiful, right on like the eyeball part, just gives a little bit of glitter. I really like these brown colors in this Becca palette. It's called the Enigma Palette, and I would recommend that to anybody. Thank you so much, Susie. But that was my Guerlain haul, and uh, the next haul I'm going to do is going to be all the other things that I picked up at the mall, including some Stuart Weissman shoes, um, an Aiden, Maddox, Aiden Maddox dress, some MAC, and some other things, and things that Susie sent me. So I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week, and um, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.